welcome and welcome back to another one of my videos my name is Naomi T Grant if this is your first time here if this is not your first time here thank you so much for tuning back in in today's video I'm actually gonna be doing a video that I'm so shocked I don't have a full video of this on my channel I had a moment in time where I was doing my own DIY lash extensions at home all the time but I don't have like a full video on my platform I have like small little shorts so I wanted to do a full video and I actually wanted to show you guys this new kit that I got from Amazon Amazon has a lot of these DIY kits but this one the reason why I really really like it it comes with the bond it comes with the seal and I'll show you guys how to use everything it comes with the lash remover as well as the tool to place on the lashes this comes in sizes 8 all the way up to 16 it's a really nice curl to it it comes with a decent amount of lashes really for me I like to start with like 10 anywhere between 10 and 14 are usually the lashes the sizes I like to go with but I'm gonna start with 8 I want to start with something a little bit more like modest nothing too crazy also I'm not someone who likes to have lashes on all the time like I don't wear makeup all the time so I like the idea of being able to put them on for a few days and take them off I like to call these also like my weekend lashes so if I know I'm going to be doing a few things over the weekend I put on my lash extension so my face already looks like kind of done and I can just add a little bit of makeup and go about my my weekend so that's what I'm going to do for you guys and um let's get really close so you guys can get a really good view on how I apply my lash lashes and also just how to apply lashes like this in general I like the applicator a lot I'm gonna show you guys why it has a curve to it so it makes it a lot easier for you to apply it onto your lashes I'm gonna just like look how easy that is oh my god that's so much easier than the straight one I don't go all the way across I just try to do section by section so the glue doesn't dry too fast. So I'm going to start with 14. And then I also like to go in and put a little bit of glue or bond is what it's called on the label. I like to put a little bit of the bond on the lash itself. So you want to do it on the top part because that's the part you're going to stick to the lashes because you're putting these underneath your lashes. So I'm just going to try to just put it on the lash band itself, not all throughout the lash. This is a size 14. I'm going to go in and go underneath. And just pop it like that. Simple. Very, very simple. I'm going to go in with another 14. I like to do just like two. So two 14s, two 12s, you, know, you guys know what I mean? Until I get to the front and I usually only do one of the shorter size. And I always like to wipe this off because glue gets on it and it can make it really sticky and hard for you to apply the lashes and like it sticks to the applicator. It just be can become a bit much. So far I really like how it looks. I know I just started but it doesn't look bad. And um, the reason why I'm not applying the glue on my lash, because I still have glue on my lash from when I did my initial applicator of the, the bond on my natural lashes. So, so far I have 14, two 14s, 112, 112. <laughs> I'm going to go in with another 12. This is so much easier than the straight one. I have more 12s in this pack than any other length. I have two rows of 8s, two rows of 10s, but three rows of 12s. Oh, three rows of 14 as well. So I'll try to use those more in all of my sets so that um I get the most out of this kit that's something to think about depending on which size lashes you personally enjoy this inner tear duct is always the hardest for me hold on let me see oh 
Okay. This is how it looks. You guys, let me know what you guys think. I look down, so that's for you guys. So this is how it looks from one eye to the other. I'm going to silently, I'm not going to talk, I'm going to put some music. I'm just going to kind of run through the other eye and then come back and do the seal and all the things and show you guys how to apply that on as well. So let's do that. Okay, now right on the other side of the bond, we have the seal. Now the seal is really important because it makes, it kind of works to lock in that bond so that your lashes last a lot longer. Especially if you know you're doing something and maybe in the evening it's gonna be warm. It's the summertime you live in a hot climate You want to keep these on without like one sliding off to the side or falling off because it's not like a strip lash It's different pieces. So just want to lock in all that hard work. I like to just put this On the band itself like that Some people even like to put it on top I don't because then I do that where it gets on the top so I'm just gonna go in with my finger and press it it can be a little sticky so I'm not gonna do that on my second lash because I don't want my lashes to feel uncomfortable again I just like to press it down on the bottom So this is how I do my DIY lash extensions. They look really good. I think one layer is perfect for how I like my lashes. I really like the length and the fullness of this. It's not too heavy, not too full. You guys can see how many lashes I use out of the kit. So even if I never reuse any of them, I think I can get a good amount of uses out of this kit here. I like the fullness of the lashes um, and the size of the strips. They're not too long, they're not too short, they're very full. I think they're very, I think in general, you'll probably need anywhere between four and five to fill up one lash, one, yeah, one eye. So I think that's pretty good in terms of like the size and the length. The fullness is nice, it's not too full, it's not too heavy, so it's not um, like volume lashes. I think they're pr still pretty natural. And yeah, I really like them. Comment down below, have you guys ever tried lash extensions? Has this inspired you guys to try it out? I will link this down in the description. This is no more than 20 bucks. I got this from Amazon. The kit comes with everything, and it even comes with the lash remover. I'm probably not gonna remove these, um, today or maybe even before I finish editing and posting this video. So you I'm tired, I have on my head tie. I don't wanna take it off because I'm about to go to bed. We're now ready to take these lashes off. They're irritating my eyes. But this is typical. I don't think there's anything wrong with the lash product. I don't, I just do not think that this lash glue is meant to be on your eyes for days and days at a time and um, like they need to get clean, all the things, it's fine. I'm gonna take it off. This is with the lash glue. Ooh, look at that. I wanted to show you guys how I remove these lashes. It was actually quite easy, and I wanted to show you guys not sped up. I'm just taking the makeup remover applicator, which is basically like a mascara wand with no little <laughs> fibers or hairs on it, and I'm just aggressively rubbing it back and forth on the eye so that that oil that's in that product can really seep into that glue and break it down. And then I just rub my fingers along my lash band just to rub that in and to get that lash bond 
off of my lashes and get my lashes off. You guys are going to see I'm struggling towards the outer corner. So then I go in and apply a little bit more of that makeup remover. And then once I do that, it easily comes off. This takes about maybe two minutes in total for me to get this off. And then I move forward and do my regular skincare routine. I go in with an extra eye makeup remover or some micellar water just to get off the rest of that glue residue. You can see that. Yeah. My hair's not on them. My lash hairs. They didn't pull out any of my lash hairs. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.